Hello, it's Ashley here from Paper and Twine. Um, I've come on to do a little walkthrough of my latest um, paper purchase. Um, but the postman has just been quite early, actually, for recent uh, recent weeks. He's come at quarter to eleven, and I've had some happy mail. Happy mail from Dawn. Um, so I think, judging by the cats on the stickers, this is from the lovely Dawn Sutton. I wonder if I can save that sticker or whether it's going to rip. Let's have a little look. Oh, oh. Oh, that bit's ripped, but I can save a little pussy cat. I shall save that little pussy cat for something else. Anyway, let's have a look and see what's inside. It's terribly exciting wasn't expecting anything. This tape's coming off nicely, so. Ooh, some gorgeousness in here. Let's just move the envelope out of the way so that I don't show you my address. Oh, <laughs> fabulous. Look at that. It's a piece of Alice paper here, which I love. I am so into Alice in Wonderland. I'm going to do, I think next week, I think Monday next week, I might go to some charity shops in town. And I've got a list of things that I want to buy uh, for my crafting. I want some dictionaries, but I think I'm going to look for old Alice in Wonderland books and um, Wind in the Willows and Winnie the Pooh, things like that. But let's take a look at this. Out of limitations comes creativity. Now, this is rather lovely. This looks like brushos in purple. Is this the purple brushos that I sent you, Dawn? With a little bit of doily here. I've got some doilies and I never know what to do with them. But that is gorgeous. I don't know whether that stamp is part of the paper or whether you've stamped over it. I think you've probably stamped over it. It's a beautiful stamp. And we've got some little jemmies there. Let's have a look inside. Oh, I've got an ATC. My collection is growing. Oh. Hi, Ashley. I would like to say thank you for the brush shows that you sent me. I've had a play and I'm thrilled with the way it came out. I should think you are. On this sheet i added some pixie sparkles to it i have made some atc cards which i enclose one for you i have also included some atc sleeves as you said in one of your videos you didn't have any crafty hugs dawn that's really useful because i've got quite a few atcs i need to make for challenges if you've uh, i've got a load of vrs going up i don't know whether they're going to be going up before or after this or i'm going to try and spread them out a bit so you don't get too sick of me and it's got handmade by Dawn on the back. What lovely stickers. Have you made these yourself, Dawn? Have you got a, a Cricut machine? They're rather cute. Let's just take a minute to look at the gorgeousness of that again. Yes, I can see the little bit of pixie powder, pixie sparkles. Lovely, really, really lovely. I am just so in love with my brushes. Um, and I need to thank Lavinia Stamps, actually, for... Um, introducing me to brushos again. I bought my brushos many, many, many years ago um, when I was teaching. Uh, I used to teach a subject called Expressive Arts, which was the most amazing GCSE and bloody Michael Gove got rid of it and because he said it was too like um, other GCSEs that were, that were out there and it totally wasn't. Um, you had to study five disciplines and they were um, art and design which could be anything anything uh, that included photography um, and filmmaking uh, dra art and design drama dance music and creative writing and you had to combine in one piece two or three different art forms out of those five there was no other GCSE like it and I just loved it and I got into kind of arty things doing that so I bought brushes for that really 
and the kids enjoyed using them. So I've still got my original set that are very, very battered and used. And I must, actually, that might be a job today. I must make them up into watercolours. I've got my little pixie pot from Lavinia. So I might do that later. But let's look at this. Oh, it's an Alice ATC. Beautiful. And the words say, embrace beautiful chaos. Look at that. I'm a bit further away from you than I normally am. I've been experimenting with my tripod and um, it's a bit higher up than normal. Look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And again, um, some of her background and I can really see the cosmic shimmer on this. And a little bit of lace. Fantastic. And more gems on the black background, which I do like. And uh, she's given me her address, which I've got already. I must print off some of these um, little templates for the backs of the cards. Oh, that's really sweet. So this is called um, Wonderland. It's five of nine. It was completed on the 10th of April of this year. And at the bottom it says, a handmade, one of a kind little treasure. I love that. Can you see? trying to cover up her address. A handmade, one of a kind, little treasure. And then we've got some little um, ATC sleeves in um, a little pretty cello bag. Um, I think for UK, I shall continue to um, make an envelope, but I think for international, these little sleeves will be very useful because they don't weigh anything do they really so dawn that is a complete and utter surprise and has really really made my day if you saw my um decluttering a drawer yesterday you'll know that i went for a ct scan yesterday and i felt a bit meh i, I do still feel a bit meh i'm just tired that's all it is i'm tired which is a permanent thing with me i think it's just still um all the treatment that I had last year just still getting out of my system. It can take 12 to 18 months for chemo to fully leave your system. So, um, yeah. Anyway, enough about me. Dawn, thank you again. That is lovely. Let's look at this gorgeousness here. So uh, this is the 8x8 eight eight Stamperia pad um, called Imagine. What I do like about their pads is that you can use the cover it's the same texture as the rest of the paper and obviously on the inside there's things that you can use because um, the graphic 45 pads although you get more in them the covers are glossy and i don't like glossy so much but uh, let's have a look so the inside is this lovely background piece um much rather lovely, isn't it? Little bit of text. I do like the layering. Um, it reminds me of, um, I don't know, probably about five, six years ago, I got into digital paper crafting and was creating my own backgrounds and things. And I used a lot of elements from a company called Mischief Circus. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link to them down below for any of you that like to try digital paper crafting. They have some freebies on their site, but obviously most of the stuff you have to pay for. But obviously once you've got it, you can use it as often as you like. Uh, and they have some fabulous backgrounds like this, but also elements that you can layer. Um, so that's our first page. Then we've got this collage page, dream, do what you love, art, I can show them in shot for you, dream, imagine, create, a little bit of tiling going on there, some text here, some uh, text here, it could be Italian or Spanish, I'm not sure or neither of those languages <laughs> and then some English here remember when you go into the world to keep your eyes and ears wide open and be kind love one another take care of each other oh that's 
so true at the moment, isn't it? Tell the truth. Always do your best. Listen to the big people and the little people. Explore new paths. Have fun. Know that you are loved like crazy. Give thanks for all your blessings above all else. Love and you will be wonderful. Love and you will do wonderful things in this world. I think that says. That's a really nice little sentiment, isn't it, to cut out? Beautiful. Lovely um, muted kind of shabby chic colours in this set. And then that's the back of this page. Like torn wallpaper. Very shabby chic, this. Which isn't usually my style but I think I need to kind of come out of my comfort zone a bit and I'm just obsessed with these papers absolutely obsessed um I think I'm going to allow myself one more purchase um I'm going to do my recent Lavinia haul tomorrow I think um and then give you a break <laughs> and then I'll be back on Monday with my uh, secret diary of a serial dieter episode two we shall see uh, what progress if any i've made um we'll talk about that on monday um but i'm going to allow myself one more purchase which i'm going to get another of the um forest paper pads uh because that is just stunning and that that is something that i've got a project in mind for um, but we've got these lovely little tags here. You can make them into tags, little journaling cards. And like in the forest um, collection, well, in fact, all of their collections, you've got these little spots here, like little, um, they remind me of my little speckles on my background. So I do like those. This is nice, isn't it? With the lines, you could write a little note on. But um, I think I'm going to have a go at making an album like um, Diane Cross did. Um, but I haven't got any dies. Um, so I think I'd just have to make my own page size. I've got some border dies that perhaps I could use to make a fancy edge on the top of the page or the side of the page. Uh, but I don't actually have any dies for making journals let's see what's on the back of these i would imagine they're going to be similar yes so they'd make perfect little uh journaling cards in an album and you could punch a little hole there and thread some twine through then this is lovely another um collage page with lots of flowers beautiful absolutely beautiful and then we've got kind of like the wallpaper and cracked stuff going on here. It's lovely, lovely. And uh, lots of layers on this single page. Um, yes, very nice. Very natural history. The little pressed daisy there reminds me of the little daisy that Woolly Stuff sent me. Oh, look. That is gorgeous. This is what's on part of the cover. I think I showed this in one of my VRs. Um, lovely. Again, it's kind of like a collage cutout style, like the, the face is cut from something else. And I think I said this on one of the VRs. This is lovely. Art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life. Art must be an expression of love or it is nothing. Art is a lie that tells the truth. Mm. Fabulous. And then this is a very useful background page. I mean, I think I would probably use most of this page but that is also useful. And then look at this with the little uh, little dresses. Who is it who makes the origami dresses? Is that, um, I can't remember whether it's Car Boot Crafter or whether it's um, Crafty Mama Paper Crafts now. I know a few people make the dresses. I know, uh, I think Jane makes them as well, Crafting Shed Davies. They remind me of those. Lovely. 
it's going to be a while before I cut into this. This is gorgeous as well. I love the muted uh, colour palette on here. Then this is a gorgeous page. There's lots of things you could cut away from here. Imagination has no limits. Mine is at the moment. Mine's very uh, limited. I think, I think that's why I've decided to enter these challenges and um, collaborations to kind of push myself a bit because I think you can get stuck in a rut, can't you? And do the same old, same old. Um, and I need to kind of break out a little bit and be a bit more arty, I think, rather than crafty. That's lovely as well. Lots of layers of torn elements. I'm liking this. Reminds me of Moroccan tiles a little bit. And then this is one for me, being a musician. Little bits of uh, manuscript paper. I love how they've kind of done this kind of layering where it's torn and you see something underneath. That's really nice. Nice big treble cleft there. Oh, turned two pages at once then. Oh, look at this. I think that's upside down. That looks upside down to me. <laughs> That's not, but that looks upside down. Beautiful again though. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, bluey grey colour. And then lots of elements to cut away on here. Like a little patchwork quilt of paper. Beautiful. Let me know what you think of this. Lorna Callahan, I think it was, said I've got a very posh paper collection. I can assure you I've got cheap paper as well. <laughs> this is beautiful, stunning, uh, very bridal actually. Might use that for a wedding card. And then this is one of the reasons I bought this because um, I'm looking for paper collections that have got a series of cut aparts that are diddy that I can put in my three by three albums. Let's just measure the depth of, of these little tags here. So they're about two and a half. So yeah, they would fit in a little pocket in one of my little mini albums. So that's lovely. Beautiful. And then, of course, you've got the backs. Oh, no, this is different. You've got um, this paper, which is fine. You could journal on that with a nice black pen. Then this is the back cover. Is it the back cover? Yes. So you've got these cut aparts here. Do what you love. Art. I like the way that that's stuck with tape. Art is a lie that tells the truth. Fabulous. Now, alongside that, I did buy the 12 by 12 maxi pad. Because I want to, again, uh, make bigger albums and I'm going to try and sell them on my Etsy shop. I have really neglected my Etsy shop and I've done nothing with it for, oh gosh, a month at least. And uh, it's hardly surprising that I haven't sold anything. I did check yesterday and... Um, I've had 45 visits in the last seven days, so that's not bad. But I've got all of those pictures I need to photograph and list. Um, <clears throat> it's just pure laziness on my part and procrastination. Um, so, yeah, I need to do that. But um, I thought there are so many people selling cards. I thought I might have a go at selling my mini albums. Excuse me. But um, it's hard to know how much to sell them for because they do take me some time. In the great scheme of things, in terms of materials, they're not particularly costly. Um, but yeah, they do take a lot of time. I mean, there's probably the way I titivate and pither, it's probably 12 or 15 hours work in an album the size I made for. Um, the competition and for dawn um so yeah it, it's hard to know i mean you know it's like hand knitting you're never going to get a decent hourly rate uh, for what you make 
anyway and we're chewing again let's have a look and see what's in this loveliness so we've got a nice big cover obviously because it's 12 by 12 um i can't get the whole padding shot but i'll do my best for you uh, so there's lots of loveliness on there and then because this is a 22 pages we've got some different pages to what is in the um eight by eight because <clears throat> that's just 10 sheets so that's lovely 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 we've got this big page here i might use i'm entering um by sweet tea and grace samantha's challenge and you've got to make a, a pennant that is um five and a half inches wide by nine inches deep and obviously a an eight by eight page is going to be too short unless you leave a border around your pendant i suppose uh, but so i might use a sheet of this for one of the layers on the pendant but that's nice i think we've seen something similar and this is lovely so you've got um little bits of blank manuscript paper here with scribblings on it and this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous um yeah i'm gonna make some more backgrounds um i've done a lot of purple i did loads and loads of purple i'll let you into a secret um when i was doing the box for my comp competition entry the box to package everything in um i made all my backgrounds um made to measure as it were and uh, made the most beautiful box and um when i came to put the six by six card in it um the box was too small <laughs> and i'd gone to all the all the trouble of um matting and layering this box and you know covering it inside and out top and bottom and yeah the box was too small so yeah i should keep that for something else <laughs> but um, i'm thinking i want to do some um antique linen scattered straw and pumice stone backgrounds i think to get this kind of colored effect because i've got a lot of greens and blues and quite bright colors but i think i want something a bit um neutral because i've got some sheep napkins i want to have a go with and they're kind of quite neutral colours, so uh, I want something that coordinates. We've seen this big page in the 8x8. This is a different one, I think. And then we've got the manuscript one again. When words leave off, music begins. And that's the same as what's in the um, 8x8, as is this. But we've got a big um, 12 by 12 version of it and that's the same this is different so you've got an envelope here that will fit uh, fit these cards so you could cut these out and score down that line and you've got one two two cards don't know whether that would fit in there I'm trying to judge it may do look at this faux stitching on here and then you've got the backs of the cards so that's sweet yeah so they would make lovely cards wouldn't they i like that sheet very much very much that's a different one we haven't seen that one this one we have seen but it is rather beautiful in the large sizes and of course uh, would be nice on greetings cards we've seen that i think as well have we seen this one i'm not sure this i like i love all these muted colors this reminds me of venice actually um i don't know why um but it does it reminds me of venice this we've seen before that we've seen before this we've seen with the dresses and then we've got this so you've got four cards there straight away 
or they would be nice in a in a memory box actually as cut aparts so you could do a little bit of journaling on them that's rather lovely beautiful then you've got this patchwork quilt one we've seen that one already with the lovely faded wallpaper on the back we've seen the tags already but of course they're bigger so again these would be nice in an album we've seen this one this collagey one I do just absolutely love the artwork on these this is a different one I don't think we've seen this one very wallpapery and then here are the tags so I could make a slightly bigger album how big are these ones see so the other ones were two and a half these ones are about just over three and a half or nine centimeters it drives mr paper and twine mad that i talk in inches but uh, i do both those are rather lovely and again like in the eight by eight you've got that paper and then this is different as well so we've got these little cut aparts that are all um they've got deckle edges a little bird there that's rather lovely and then that's on the back so yes i'm definitely going to make a journal out of those definitely this is one we haven't seen before as well this with the mannequin and um all this script here they are stunning it's going to be a while before i use this i think and then you've got that on the back i say it's going to be a while i might i might do the journal pages and then these you could use a die to cut out little hearts we haven't seen that page before and then we've got that on the back very nice very very nice then we've got this page which um can't remember whether we've seen before or not uh, but you've got four card toppers there as a starting point haven't you we've seen these i think as big pages haven't we and then that's the back seems a shame to put them on a card doesn't it because you lose the back then we've got this all these sentiments beautiful absolutely beautiful and then this i love just look at the little pops of pink in there really really lovely absolutely gorgeous live every day with intention so again you've got four card toppers here and that on the back or they could be um journaling cards or photo mats in a in an album absolutely stunning <laughs> be yourself everyone else is already taken i've heard that before who was it who said that that was somebody quite famous said that oh look at this that's rather nice again kind of to me quite moroccan in feel beautiful beautiful layers nearly at the end this nice big piece of text i can imagine bits of that ripped on um atcs actually what's on the other side oh that's useful so you could have you could cut that into little journaling tags yeah so you could cut that you could probably get 12 journaling tags at least or maybe possibly 18 18 journaling tags out of there and put just a little something on them that would be lovely and then you've got the lines on the back there and then the back page we've seen this i think this is a repeat as well beautiful so that was very very pleasurable to look at stroke 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 <laughs> hey ho um i'll come back tomorrow with my lavinia haul i've got lots of crafting to do today um 
thank you again dawn for your loveliness it's really really unexpected i mean that's what makes happy mail um such a pleasure isn't it when it's unexpected um and very much appreciated and this shall go in my little drawer with my atcs thank you very much bye now i know i've said goodbye let me just put the microphone back on i was just reading the text on this um the last little bit here it says you should learn not to make personal remarks alice said with some severity it's very rude <laughs> that made me chuckle <laughs> thanks again dawn <laughs>